Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be continuing our uh, automatic weapon series. And uh, if you remember, uh, in all the last videos we set up so we could pick up the weapon and now we have the correct animations to our ends. You know, uh, and we just managed to uh, have the dynamic animations for each weapon that we might pick up. Uh, this error is because of something that I was doing. Because I already started to work on the fire, that's what I said I was going to do in the last video. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this, uh, so I can explain from the beginning. So the first thing to make a weapon fire, we're going to need to go into your uh, our weapon mesh. So that's in content, first person, FP weapon and mesh, and then just double click the FP gun. And just click on skeleton, there you go. Now we're going to need to create a socket, so we're going to need to make a socket to identify the place where the bullets are going to come out of. We already have a custom muzzle, um, muzzle, uh, sorry, muzzle socket. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to delete the grip point as well. I'm just going to go into the, I guess, it's fine to be... I'm going to go into the grip bone and I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to add a socket. I'm just going to call this muzzle as it was before. And this is kind of the same thing but I want you to see exactly uh, how to do this. So this is going to be, I'm going to spawn the bullets from over here and I think that's fine. So you can just save this and we have the socket on the front of our muzzle. Now I'm going to go back into the first person character and there is a function that comes with um, an event, sorry, uh, that comes with uh, the first person template that is just called fire. Uh, this is, So when we press the left mouse button is going to, you know, trigger this event. Now what we want to do with this, well basically we want to spawn an actor from class and this actor is going to be our projectile and that also comes already with the first person template. Uh, it's called uh, first person projectile is just that ball that you see when you start this template that can collide with the environment. I'm going to use that projectile just for the reason that already has like collision with physics and stuff. Uh, the spawn transform though, we're going to need to get that from our current equipped weapon. So let's get that. First of all, we do not want to fire if we do not have a uh, weapon equipped. So I'm going to check, well, is this uh, variable valid? So does it have anything in it? Do we have an equipped weapon? If we have, we are going to go ahead and spawn the projectiles. And a spawn transform is just going to get the weapon mesh. Because we need to get the, the correct weapon mesh. And then we're going to get that socket that we just created. Uh, with a node called get socket transform. And I'm just going to drag this into the spawn transform. And the socket name is just going to be the name that we gave it. In this, in my case, it was muzzle. So let's put that in. And I guess we can just compile and save and see if we work, if it works. So if we play, and if I click and try to shoot right now, we do not have a, we do not have a weapon equipped, so we cannot shoot. But if I go ahead and pick it up, you can see that now I can shoot uh, bullets. So yeah, you can see that they collide with the environment and the same. But now we only have like. Um, a uh, single shot weapon and that's not really what we're doing we're doing an automatic weapon so well we're going to do something i'm going to disconnect this spawn actor uh, projectile i'm going to just drag it up here now i'm going to get from the this uh, equipped weapon i'm going to get the fire mode or the details i guess and i'm going to break that i'm going to see well is it automatic uh, if this weapon is automatic, I am going to fire it um, in a different way. And that way is going to be, well, I'm just going to get a true. I am going to set a timer by event. And I'm going to set it to loop, but our fire rate is going to come. Uh, I guess our time to, you know, um, to loop our event or our timer. We're going to get that from the fire rate, which we're going to plug in here. I guess I'm going to put this up here. There you go. Now we're just going to go into this event. We're going to drag and add a new custom event, which is going to call fire. That's going to be fine. And now we're just going to get uh, this spawn actor. And we're going to plug that in into the fire. 
that's pretty much everything we need to make this weapon fire automatically so if we compile and save uh, let's play if we pick up the weapon and if I just all the shoot thing you can see that I'm firing two bullets per second I believe or I think there okay there are more but if you go into our uh, blueprint of our weapon let's get uh, click over here edit blueprint open blueprint editor we can go over into our settings and we have our fire rate well if I put this to 0 0.05 you can see that we're gonna fire a lot a lot of bullets as you can see boom but now well you can see if you now uh, don't like all the the fire anymore you're gonna see that the bullets don't stop firing so a fix to do that is when we release I guess I'm going to pass all of this up here I guess there you go a way that we can do so when we release we're going to uh, clear timer by handle and it's gonna look a little bit weird because we need to drag this into the return value of the timer and it's gonna kind of you know get in the way of nodes but we can just create a little reroute nodes and you know it's gonna be fine so if we compile and now test this we can now pick up the weapon and fire it and then we stop firing uh, it stops so you can go ahead and shoot boom and it's going to behave exactly the way uh, an assault rifle behaves now the bullets are big and they're supposed to be right now but we might later on create a proper projectile that resembles more of a realistic fire but for now for you know we can see our own bullets and stuff it's gonna be fine I'm gonna go into the automatic rifle and just put this to point one so it doesn't uh, fire as, as faster so let's see okay I guess this is gonna be fine uh, so now we have our weapon firing um, you know firing on automatic fire but I guess we have a little bit of time it's just seven minutes we can set up uh, to toggle fire modes so between single shot and uh, fully automatic so what we can do is just by simply create a new variable let's call uh, well I guess we don't need a variable we can use this one so we can just create another branch Mm. no we actually need a new variable sorry so let's create a new variable and let's call this um, toggle fire mode or something fire mode I guess or automatic because we're setting up the default of the weapon so the default of the weapon in this case is automatic but we might want to have a button where we can toggle that so I guess we okay let's not use a, a custom variable let's use the one that we have over here so we can do something that is going to be well let's first of all think a, a key to change fire modes I guess I'm going to use uh, T I guess let's just use keyboard T boom so when you press T we're going to change fire modes and the way that I'm going to do that I'm going to get the equipped weapon first of all I'm going to uh, call um, a node called flip-flop a flip-flop basically every time uh, this node gets executed it fires A then B then A then B so every time time we press T it's going to fire A and B A and B etc so that way we can toggle between automatic and single shot so we're gonna get the equipped weapon we're gonna get the details and then there is a node called uh, set details I don't think it's this one let me just check again set all array element set members in as weapon details so we can make this uh, we can hold alt and click to you know uh, disconnect this if you right click here you can split the struct pin and now you get all the information that you can set now this is going to look a little bit weird uh, because it's actually not very you know procedural you kind of have to do this manually when you want to just set a variable inside uh, one of these um, structs but it actually works pretty fine and this is actually the only way I think this works so first of all I am going to set everything except the fire mode and then I'm actually going to do drag from here do a select 
and I'm going to drag um, the index to is A. So if it is A, so if is A is true, we are going to set this um, to well, we probably gonna need to get the okay. Let's get the value, and the 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 value to uh, is A is going to be. Mm, I'm trying to think of a way of making this a little bit easier to code. Okay, I guess so. If it is automatic, we're gonna make that when A is false, because if it's false, it means it's the sec second time. We are pressing so imagine that we start off with a weapon that is automatic when you press this flip-flop it's going to set it to single shot so basically this is going to turn to b so let's drag from automatic let's drag a knot so it's basically the opposite of what type of fire our weapon has and then we're going to set it to true so let's see if i can explain what i just did there so the first time we press A, we're going to see, well, is our weapon automatic? If it is, we are going to make this uh, false. So if it's false, it means it's not automatic in single shot. So the first time we press to switch fire modes, it's going to get whatever is the original fire mode and it's going to make the opposite of it. And the second time we press it, means A is true. Um, we are going to set it back to its original state. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. So we can just go ahead and try that. So from A and B, let's just boom do that. Uh, we're going. I'm. You notice that I'm doing uh, putting the same notes, but you need to connect both of them into this because then we're gonna decide what value you want through the select node. So let me just uh, clear a little bit of space here. Drag this down. That's fine. And we can actually go ahead and see if this worked out. So now we're going to go to the struct out. And I think we need to set the details. Uh, let's drag this target into our equipped weapon. And let's set the details to the struct out. And now I think we can uh, successfully set the fire modes. So let's play. We're going to start by being fully automatic. Boom. Now I'm going to press T. And I'm going to press shoot. Oh, okay. I, I forgot something. Uh, it's probably working. But we need to go back into our first person uh, character. And because I forgot to do well, what we do when this is false. When this is false, we're just going to do whatever it is in this event. So we ju you can just straight connect the false into the spawn actor. And it's going to be fine. So let's go ahead and play this. I play, I can shoot, fully automatic, I press T. When I shoot, it's single shot. And if I press T again, it's gonna be... Okay, wait, there's something wrong. So fully automatic T, fully automatic T. Okay, there's something uh, going on. Let me just check this again. So is A is the first thing we toggle when it's the fire mode. So if it is automatic, uh, we are going to set the true, if it is A, to the opposite of what it was. And if it is false, meaning we're toggling B, we want it to go back to is automatic. Okay, this is supposed to work. I don't know why is it not working. Let me check this again. So fully automatic press T, single shot. Press T, single shot, all the same. Oh, I know why, okay. Um, that's because uh, we are setting this value and then we're getting it back again. Okay, I'm being stupid. Um, we actually don't need any of this. The only thing we need is... Uh, let's not use the flip-flop, delete that as well. So when you press to f change the fire mode, 
it's much simpler than doing this just get this automatic not so we get the opposite value of whatever is our weapon start as and we set it in our struct uh, from this side this way it's always going to turn into the opposite value so if it is automatic it's going to turn single shot if it is single shot it's going to turn automatic so i'm sorry about that that was probably confusing there was no need for that it actually much simpler than what i was thinking so fully automatic press t single shot press t fully automatic press t single shot so that's working perfectly so yeah with this system we can have a single shot and a fully automatic system and we can switch our fire modes by pressing t and yeah i think that's pretty uh i think basic but actually works fine and yeah i'm sorry about this confusion with the the selecting fire modes but it's actually as simple as this hopefully you guys understood why i did this um if you guys have any doubts uh, remember to leave them in the comments i will always help and if it's complex i will try to make a video on it any suggestions for stuff you can leave them in the comments as well but i'm gonna leave it for this video in the next one we're going to set um uh, actually counter of ammunition so we're gonna have magazines and we're gonna have a limit of how much we can fire uh, and then we're gonna need to reload etc but that's gonna be for the next video Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.